Okay, so a little bit of background on how the video today kind of came to be. Um, long story short, I'm going through and totally revamping my hunting arrow setup for this coming hunting season. Um, shooting two bows, shooting two different arrow setups. So my out west setup is going to be kind of traditional to what I'm running right now. Uh, I'm sticking with a five millimeter arrow. It's going to be a little bit on the lighter side. It's going to be pushing like 440 to 460 grains. Um, but these arrows that I'm holding right now are going to be my whitetail arrows. Um, these are going to be out of the blackout bow, which I did kind of a review on and a rundown on um, a couple of videos ago. But these are just standard diameter arrows. But one special thing that I'm running this year um, that I haven't really done before and I'm kind of dabbling in is going to be shooting a lighted knock. Now, initially, when I got into ordering the lighted knocks um, and setting my bow up for them, um, as far as like the knock fit goes and everything, you discover pretty quick that lighted knocks are pretty expensive. Um, and if I was going to be getting a full set of 12 arrows with lighted knocks, um, everything like that, you're almost at that point spending more money on the knocks than you are every other part of the arrow, except for broadheads probably. So I definitely wanted to get quite a bit of practice in with this arrow setup. Um, since it's gonna be pretty heavy, it's gonna be pushing above 500 grains. Um, but I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of money and keep getting lighted knocks. So I just got eight of them. Um, I'm gonna be running those closer to hunting season. Now the main problem to overcome um, when you're shooting a normal knock for a arrow setup that's gonna ultimately use a lighted knock, um, it comes down to two things. One is gonna be the actual fit of the knock. Um, that is really no way to work around that. Lighted knocks are a lot more thin than normal knocks, or at least this brand of lighted knock is. So at the end of the day, I'm just gonna tie different knock sets, different D loop um, on the bow, and then when it comes closer to hunting season and I'm ready to actually shoot the lighted knock, I'll just cut those knots off um, and then get it set and tuned to the arrow with the lighted knock on there. So that way you don't have too much float on your string with that knock, which that's a whole nother rabbit hole is getting into knock fit, knock pinch, anything like that. Um, but the second problem and really the main reason for this video is gonna be the weight. So lighted knocks are a lot heavier than just normal traditional knocks. And obviously you have the battery in there, you have the actual light, you have all the housing, the components that come along with it. And with a normal knock, you just have that plastic there. So it makes sense that they're lighter. And that adds up to about 10, 15 grains, um, which isn't really a whole lot. And in all honesty, you can probably shoot just with the normal knock in those arrows and change the knock fit later on. But if you're wanting to shoot out to 50, 60, and 70 yards, um, that 10 to 15 grains really adds up. And it can cause, you know, two, three, four inches a drop, um, which I mean, three or four inches is, is a lot when it comes to shooting out at yardage. Um, you know, that's the difference between missing low, missing high, really anything like that. So you definitely want to make sure that you have a relatively similar arrow weight um, with the arrows that you're going to be shooting with the normal knocks compared to the lighted knocks. So that way you aren't changing up your sight tapes, um, you know, a couple weeks before season. So there is a little trick on how to make normal knocks relatively, if not the exact same weight as lighted knocks. Um, that's really what this video is going to be today, kind of going over that really quick, really simple. Um, all you need is to run down to your local Home Depot or Menards, and you literally just need to get some small wood screws. Um, I'll kind of go over that and show you guys right now and kind of give the proof of concept for it. All right, so really all the equipment you're going to need is those wood screws. Um, you can really get those anywhere. I didn't even really pay attention to the brand. I just kind of looked for number four one inch screws. Um, that's going to be the one that fits most knocks and I'll show you here in a second. But the thing after that is going to be a arrow scale. Um, so these are really useful. If you don't have one of these, I definitely think you should. That way you know your arrow weight. You can check the weight on components, anything like that. Um, but an arrow scale is going to be important just to double check that you are getting everything matched up. So. For example, this lighted knock here, we'll go ahead and plop that down. It's coming in at 25 grains, pretty much spot on exactly as it's marketed. Um, and if we're looking at just a normal gold tip GT knock, um, you're looking at 12 grains. So 
already 13 grains of difference. Um, same thing here, I have a little Easton X knock. That's gonna be on my other arrow setup. That one's all the way down at nine grains, um, or 8.8, .8, I guess, in this case. So definitely something where that weight difference is gonna add up, um, whether you're looking at 16 grains, 12 grains, anything like that. Um, the lighted knock obviously is a little bit beefier, has a little bit more components compared to a GT knock or even a X knock. So makes sense that they're heavier. Now, the easiest way to change the weight of this knock is really gonna be to take one of those wood screws there and you're simply gonna pop that in where that knock on the bottom there is hollow and pop it into the knock right there. Just double check the weight. You're looking at 25.2, so two tenths of a grain off of that lighted knock. Um, really not a whole lot, you know, obviously 10, 15 grains is gonna add up at distance, but two tenths of a grain really isn't gonna be that bad. You know, at that point, if you're good enough of a shooter to be telling two tenths of a grain variance in an arrow, um, you, you're you pretty well off. You you have some, some good things going for you. Um, but at the end of the day, you go ahead, pop that out. And obviously to secure it, all you're gonna do is take a little bit of super glue, pop that open. Um, for really any archery stuff, I know that there's brand specific everything. Um, I just use this Gorilla Glue, it's the super glue gel. Now, this really helps the most with fletching arrows. Um, since it's the gel, it's not super runny on the fletchings. So it's gonna have a really nice bond. You're gonna be able to kind of work with it, stick it onto those fletchings. So I definitely recommend giving this a try. Just gonna go ahead and pop some of that super glue in there. You can be pretty liberal with it until it's coming out the top because you wanna be able to have that bond all the way down the knock. And I just go ahead, pop that screw on there. You let it sit for a little bit, it'll dry out, and then you're good to go. Um, I have one that's already dried out over here. That is the one that I had in that arrow previously. So we can go ahead, pop that down on the scale. It's coming in at 26 and a half. So you're definitely adding a little bit of weight with the super glue, but an easy way to fix that if you're looking to shave off that extra grain or two, pretty much if you take just one of those normal screws and then take your super manly pink multi-tool, um, go a couple threads deep where that wire cutter is and then just pop it off like that. If you put that screw down with that knock, so let's say that glue added about two grains and you're shooting for 25, you're down at 23 grains, um, pretty even. So add in that super glue weight and you're gonna be right at 25. Um, obviously there's a little bit of play with it. If you have something like this X knock and you want to cut that screw, now that's gonna be a little bit lighter, obviously because the X knock in and of itself is gonna be a little bit lighter. So you're only gonna be pushing 20 grains with that. Um, so really it's gonna be kind of an adjustable weight system for whatever lighted knock you're trying to match up with. So it's just gonna require you to kind of play around. If you wanna go heavier and you have some sort of like adjustable lighted knock, maybe it's heavier with certain collars on or anything like that, these screws are made of zinc. Um, you pretty much can use the same tool book that the arrow components use. Obviously like you have aluminum inserts, you have brass inserts. So you can go ahead and just get some brass screws. Um, those number four one inch screws are gonna be the ones that have the, the right width and the right diameter to fit into knocks. So I would definitely recommend looking for these guys just in brass, and then you're really good to go from there. And that's really it. Um, you know, just a quick little simple trick to adjust the weight on that knock. Um, I've seen it quite a bit. I've read about it online and kind of seen some posts about it here and there, but when I was originally thinking of, of how to do it and I was looking up videos, I couldn't really find any. So hopefully it kind of fills that gap. So um, if somebody does have a question about, you know, what's up with lighted knocks, how do we make it um, heavier, what's a little work around with them or a little hack with lighted knocks, um, they find it and they get a little bit of education out of it. So if that's you, I appreciate you watching the video and getting to this point. Uh, make sure you drop a like. If you kind of like the content and you want to stick around and see some more, um, if you want to see the arrow build or anything like that, and go ahead and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, I am coming out with a couple different arrow build videos covering this arrow in and of itself. 
and then also the other hunting arrow that I'm gonna run. Um, so definitely stick around for that. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.